Hello and welcome to the National Museum of Cardiff. I'm Ryan. And I'm Samantha. We're here today to learn about the evolution of Wales. Are you ready to learn more about our culture, Ryan? You bet I am, Sam. Let's go. Let's go. I'm here with Eleanor Johnston, a geology facilitator here at the National Museum in Cardiff. Thank you for taking your time to have a few questions with me. No problem. Um, so if you could just give me a bit of um, info about the actual exhibition and the evolution of Wales itself. Yeah, so the exhibition, uh, it begins at, at, in the at the Big Bang, so the beginning of time, okay. and so you're looking at the formation of the Earth, and okay. then it takes you through um, the evolution of each sort of animal, um, and also the rocks that are changing, but specifically in, in Wales, so okay. you walk through all the way through to basically the modern times where so It's sort of like a timeline of how Wales has evolved, really, exactly. from the Big Bang, as you said. <laughs> it's a physical timeline, so you can actually walk through yeah. and see things changing, which is quite a yeah. nice way to experience And how long has the um, exhibition actually been here? It's been here, I think, pretty much exactly 20 years. I believe it opened in 1993. 1993. Yeah. What do you find uh, most interesting about the actual exhibition itself? I, I really love all of it. I think the exhibition yeah. is great. But the, the mammoths, everyone loves the mammoths in yeah. there. They're animatronic mammoths. And, yeah, they're really cool. Um, they're actually older than the exhibition. I think oh, they're right. about 30 <laughs> years old. They came from an exhibition previous to this one about the Ice Age. Right, okay. um, and they still work, even though they're ancient. That's cool. Although they are quite often ill. So um, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes they break down. But yeah, I think they're oh, quite brilliant. fun. Well, yeah. thank you very much for taking the time. You're there, welcome. Okay, so we're better to start than the building blocks of Wales. They were formed millions of years ago by different processes. And they are now what shape our landscape and economy used for buildings, roofs and roads. Let's carry on, right? Let's carry on. Well, Sam, believe it or not, we are in front of the oldest rock in Wales. Really? How old yes, is it? Yes, we are. Well, how old are you? That's cheeky, right? right. <laughs> well, all jokes aside, it is 702 million years old. No way! It's still not as old as you, but... Ah, well. So let's okay. go. <laughs> now, as we all know, these important rocks form the foundation of Wales. But Ryan, between 700 million and 570 million years ago, the oldest rocks preserved in Wales were formed along the margin of the ancient continent of Gondwana land. Gondwana land? We made that up? No, Ryan, I haven't. There was a rich and varied animal life in the tropical swamps and forests. Spiders, cockroaches and dragonflies grew to giant sizes. 220 million years ago, towards the end of the Triassic period, Wales was an era of high land surrounded by low, semi-desert plains. The climate was hot and dry, but with occasional torrential rainstorms. That yeah. was an interesting day in the museum, wasn't it? Very fun and very educational as well. What have you learned then? I think I've learned a lot about how Wales has evolved throughout the years, how the foundations were built, you know, all about the mammals and prehistoric periods, everything. How about you? Um. Well, I hope everyone at home has learned a lot more about the evolution of Wales than Sam has. Oops. That's all, folks. <laughs>